Today we're going to show you how to change your oil at home on your G20 M340i. Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Today, we're going to show you how to change your oil on your G20 M340i at home. Now, we know that a lot of you that are going to be doing this at your home, you don't have a lift in your garage. Some of you may, but most of you probably do not. So we wanted to show you how to do it just using basic Rhino ramps. So let's get the car on the ramps and then we'll show you what to do next. First thing we need to do is pop the hood. If you haven't popped the hood in your G20 yet, you reach down here and you go click, click. It's a double latch system. Uh, one of the most common mistakes on this car is they unlatch it once and it doesn't open. So make sure you do it two times. After that, we need to remove our engine cover here. It's just held on by four little grommets. There's one basically in each corner. Now to give you an overview of what we're going to be doing, First thing is we're going to loosen our cap here. I always like to just kind of put it on the side so nothing accidentally falls in. Then we're going to get under the car and drain all of the oil out. Then BMW, instead of nice front and center, they kind of hid your oil filter way back here. So once all of the oil is drained, then we're gonna remove this. We're gonna swap it out with the new filter and then we're going to replace it and then we're going to replace the engine oil. Okay, so when you're under your vehicle, you're gonna find this little funky cap thing. So basically the way that it works, so there are these three little pins, there's one here, here, and over here, and that keeps this in here. Under this is our 17 mil. Now what I found is if you kinda of just pull down and twist, it's gonna release it. So as you can see, this is what the clips look like, and then to put it back in, all you do is you just put it in, and it snaps right in, that's not normally an issue. Okay, so once you've removed that black cap, you're going to need a 17 mil to release this drain bolt. So we're gonna take this here and then twist it and release it. Okay, now one important note, BMW recommends to do this with warm oil. Um, it's gonna help the flow and all. So right now it is warm, be careful that it's not too hot and it doesn't burn you. So now I'm going to slide this over here. I'm going to drain this into my bucket here. And there we go. And let that fully drain. Now, while we're waiting, you always want to make sure that you get this crush washer and you remove it and you replace it with the new one that's included with the man oil filter that we're going to show you today. Next, it is time to put down some microfiber towels because we're going to remove our cap here, which may result in a little spilled oil. So we want to make sure that if we're gonna spill any oil at all, that it's gonna go on those. Okay, so now, this the only socket that I had that fit on this was an inch and a quarter, so there's probably a metric equivalent that works with it as well, but if you don't have one and you have just a regular socket, inch and a quarter works great. Okay. So then I grab another one. Just want to carefully navigate it up, spilling the least amount of oil as possible. Now included in this filter kit, we have a new crush washer, which we're going to install in just a minute. And we have a new O-ring, so we're going to slide this out. Now be very mindful of the orientation, the side with the O-ring is on this side, and the side that doesn't have an O-ring is on the other side. Then we're gonna go in here with a pick tool. Pop this off like that. Take the new one and put it in place. Okay, then you can take your new filter, pop it in place just like that. Um, once you get it in there, if you just give it a little twist, you just put it in, just give it a little twist, it'll lock it in place. 
Then you can go over here again, and you can carefully reinstall that. One thing that helps is if you put a little oil on that O-ring, it'll help everything just slide into place. Then you torque it to 25 Newton meters. And once you've done that, make sure you get all of the towels you put down there, and then just clean off any spilled oil. Then you can reinstall your drain bolt with your new crush washer. And you can torque it down to 25 Newton meters. So once you've done that, get your little black cap and you're gonna twist it clockwise until it clips into place. Now that everything is tightened and torqued down, it's now time to add the oil. So for this process, as you'll see up on the hood here, we need to use 0W20. So we have six and a half liters of Liquid Molly 0W20 that we're going to be adding. So once you've done that, we can put our cap back on. Just twist it until it locks. Then you can put your cover back on. Just line it up with that. And then push it down, just like that. You're done. So now that we've changed the oil, we need to tell the car that we changed the oil. So to do so, we need to enter diagnostic mode. So get your start stop button and press it three times pretty quick. If you don't do it quick, it won't work. So make sure you do it quick. And then up here, it's going to say diagnostic mode, just like that. So then I'm going to press this little BC button on my turn signal stock. And we're just going to hold that for a little while. <laughs> then after about 20 seconds or so, it's going to say engine oil. And it looks like with this car we have um, 1500 miles left on this change, but we're going to reset it a little bit early. So then you just press and hold it again. <laughs> and then after about 10 seconds or so, you let go and it's going to say, do you really want to reset it? And then you just press and hold it one more time. Okay, so now the resetting is in progress. And as you can see, it bumped it up to 11,000 miles and the reset was successful. Now, if you try to do it and it says unsuccessful, one of the biggest factors is if you don't have the time set on your car, because as you'll notice, it went away now, but it also gives you a date. So for whatever reason, if you don't have the time set, a lot of times it will fail. So with that, this oil change is completely finished. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. For any of the parts and tools we use in today's video, be sure to see the links in the description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Now, once you've completed your oil change, another good thing to do, you wanna make sure you have the appropriate amount of oil in the car. So if you go over here where it says car, and you can go to vehicle status, and then engine oil level, you can do an engine oil level measurement. So to do this, you have to have the car up to operating temperature. So we're gonna to have to sit here for a little while, get it set, and then it's going to give you the measurement. Now we put six and a half liters in, so we shouldn't have any issues, but it's always a good idea to check.